Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about questionable concepts in physics and today I'm talking about black holes. Now don't stop, I know black holes got the Nobel Prize in 2020 and of course they're fantastic observations, I don't doubt that. And uh, let's say it's also not a nonsensical idea to think about black holes. Uh, on the other hand, it's not even a prediction of general relativity because there was already a smart guy in the 17 uh, something, uh, John Mitchell, who simply said that, okay, we have an escape velocity. If you move an object and you uh, push it to outer space from the Earth, you need 11 kilometers per second as the escape velocity. And what if the Earth becomes heavier and denser and smaller? So this escape velocity will, uh, would grow. And what about if we approach the speed of light? That's the problem. We are here. Okay. So um, the idea is not nonsensical, but there is something that uh, a couple of things which are strange. Well, first of all, uh, let's look at the evidence. Uh, you have neutron stars and you have uh, so-called stellar black holes about the same size. And people try to distinguish them uh, if material is falling in, if it's smashing onto the surface. And if you see the signal, it's, it's a neutron star. So if you don't see si signal, if you don't see something, then uh, dangerous evidence, then it's a black hole. But at the very end, there is no clean, um, uh, clean method of separation. Okay, so uh, this is about the stellar, um, stellar size black holes, and of course we have the observation in the center of the Milky Way, and uh, these are very, very uh, amazing uh, data about the the first Star Wars called S two, I think, sixteen years uh, of of uh, Kepler orbit, and and the uh, if you calculate it, it shows that there must be a mass of, uh, I don't know, 4.6 million times the sun and you don't see anything. So, I mean, the speculation is not far-fetched that there could be a, something black, but the problem is here. Um, physics is quantitative and if you really want to uh, prove a concept, you have to give quantitative evidence. That means in that case, you should be able to measure the Schwarzschild radius, which is two times the mass, the uh, gravitational constants uh, divided by uh, C squared. And you can't do that. Okay, we're still far from measuring that uh, Schwarzschild radius. And uh, by the way, there is also the, um, uh, there is also the uh, e so-called evidence of M87, the black hole inside uh, the elliptical galaxy. This was a very nice picture, but there was a lot of image processing and also a lot of theoretical assumptions going into that interpretation. So I think it's one of these attempts to get the attention of the Nobel Committee. And uh, yeah, um, and um, Let's add that I have, um, I have a very um, principal uh, reservation towards black holes because, uh, as I mentioned, the Schwarzschild radius is calculated gravitational constant two times, uh, times the mass divided by uh, C squared. So a radius proportional to a mass, that's strange because if you think physically, you would relate um, the volume of a body to its mass, okay? And um, so if you imagine just uh, a, a swimming pool of the size of our solar system and you, you do the calculation, it's a black hole. Why that? Or if you just take air and say, yeah, let's make uh, our galaxy filled with air, it would be a black hole. And even more strange, uh, the entire universe uh, is more or less a black hole, okay? Because uh, it corresponds to the formula. So uh, I think there is a, a deep misunderstanding. We believe in the gravitational constants as if it's a god of modernity and then we deduce that black hole. But maybe all this is a misunderstanding. Maybe the, um, the uh, gravitational constant is determined by the masses of the universe. And then, uh, well, it's, it's uh, the, the universe would automatically 
be a black hole, but on the other hand, it would not be a reasonable concept. Anyway, by the way, the, oh, also these um, uh, singularities, uh, people talk about singularities, there is not a single piece of evidence that the concept of, of mathematical concept of singularity does make some sense in physics. And I know Roger Penrose got the Nobel Prize uh, in 2020. Uh, for what? For proving that the laws of physics uh, break down at a certain point. I always thought then it would be worth a Nobel if you prove that something is valid, not unvalid, but well, I don't know. Uh, let's conclude with my personal pet theory. Um, I think that, uh, well, these guys of the M87 uh, picture wanted the Nobel Prize and the committee said, no, uh, good science is the observation um, of the center of our Milky Way. We can give one half to them. And uh, Roger Penrose uh, wrote the wonderful book, uh, Fashion, Faith and Fantasies, and uh, he got the other half from Walking String Theory. Okay, my personal pet theory. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.